Hi everyone and welcome back to Liz Sews. I have another Bra Builder Spotlight video for you guys today and this one is the aptly named Monarch Kit. So this kit is a limited edition. I don't think she has a ton of them available so if you're interested in it I would say go ahead and jump on it sooner rather than later. So the Monarch Kit is featuring of course one of her seasonal spring colors which is Monarch. And you can see it here. It is a very sort of yellow leaning orange. Um, almost cheeto puff ish color it's a very bright orange and and has a lot of yellow in it it's definitely an orange color that i would lean more towards instead of the more ruddy oranges like poppy so this is uh micro duoplex in that monarch coloration or, or dye and uh, also in this kit you also have the option if you don't like monarch you can go ahead and choose midnight which is of course her black option as well. I will say that the Midnight or Black uh, Micro Duoplex, I don't think she dyes it herself. I think it comes factory dyed. It definitely has a different feel to it than her dyed Micro Duoplex. It's a little bit stiffer, a little bit firmer. I actually found it a little bit easier to sew with. So if you want to dip your toe into Micro Duoplex, maybe try Midnight first before you try one of the dyed colors because this one definitely behaved a lot better under my sewing machine. So like it could be their sizing or something on here and as soon as I wash it, it'll be really, really soft like the other one. But um, for now, I would say it was, it was firmer, stiffer, and a lot easier to sew because of that. So this is Monarch and this is Midnight. So of course, what makes this the Monarch kit is the lace itself. The lace is really interesting. It is not sort of that lace trim that we're used to seeing in bra kits. It's, it's like actual yardage of lace. Uh, and you can see here, I believe she's had it a couple times before. I, I think she had it around, mm, around Halloween last year and it was offered with Dusk, which, is one, uh, which was a purple colorway. So, but you can see how the uh, design in this lace really looks like a butterfly wing and I think it's so perfect for Monarch. And of course, if you put something like this orange underneath it, it really truly looks like a Monarch. So that is the lace, which is quite pretty. And I think it's the lace that she has limited amounts of. So that's, if that's, you know, you could, you could certainly make your own Monarch kit by purchasing um, something dyed in Monarch if you don't care for the lace. And then the power net that comes with it is a midnight or black as well. So this is just power net in medium weight because that's the one I use. So I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time going through the findings because so they're pretty standard. We have underwire channeling in midnight, uh, twill tape, narrow pico elastic, some wider pico elastic. If you want elastic straps, you can go ahead and add them. So this is the half inch elastic strap. They also come with corresponding rings and sliders in the same size and then um, hook and eye closure. So she offers a, a wide range of hook and eye closures uh, with her kits. You can get two, three, four, or even like a hook and eye tape if you want to. So this is what the hook and eye tape looks like if you want to do a long line bra. So it's a continuous tape, but you will have to finish the upper and lower edges of it because it's just a cut edge. So those are all of the findings. And then every person who orders the Monarch kit gets this really pretty Monarch uh, charm as well to really pull in those colors. So I thought that was really pretty. So that's enough of me talking. Let's go over and look at the bra that I've made with this kit because I was really, really inspired by it. So the bra pattern that I've used is the AFI Atelier Exquisite Bra. Uh, I purchased this pattern not very long ago and I've been really enjoying it. And I actually went ahead and loaded the line drawing into my computer and then played around with the paint feature on my computer so I could figure out what it is that I want to do. So the three inner cut pieces here I've done in that Monarch Micro Duoplex with the lace over top of it. And the reason I only did three instead of all four of them is of course I wanted to get that look of like a butterfly wing radiating out out here and then the power bar itself has a black uh, micro duoplex behind it and I still went ahead and put the lace on top of the cup uh, but didn't continue the lace onto the rest of the bra because I wanted to get that sort of texture in the cup like this was still part of the butterfly wing and I did the rest of the bra in the midnight micro duoplex just so it sort of like disappears you don't really notice it at all um, I've, I've put the little charm in the center there and then I wanted to incorporate some of the dots that are on the monarch butterfly wings so I went digging through my stash 
and I found these little white men's shirt buttons. So I went ahead and added them. I thought it was a nice, interesting detail, but I'm really happy how this turned out because I like how I have the little butterfly chart in the middle and then it sort of like looks like a butterfly radiating out from there. So you got the wings and the dots on there. So. That is the AFI Atelier Exquisite Bra. Uh, if we look at it from the inside, you can sort of see the color blocking that went in here with the three, three cut pieces using the Monarch and then one cut piece using the Midnight. So it's, it definitely sort of truncates the way that cup looks. It makes it look a lot different than the original pattern, even though I haven't really changed the pattern at all. And I did uh, go ahead and finish the upper edge with foldover elastic rather than sort of stitching it and flipping it just because I thought that would give me a little bit cleaner of an edge and it's sort of like uh, the outline of black along the butterfly wing. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to see black on camera, but hopefully you can sort of get in there and see all of the elastics in black and it just has a really nice clean finish. So, I mean, I guess it could be a Halloween bra because it has those sort of like orange and black colorway, but I think it's a gorgeous bra for summer as well. I hope you guys have enjoyed a look at the Monarch kit and I will see everyone next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.